The Department of Homeland Security is ramping up efforts to deport migrants that have gathered along the southern border. More than 12,000 people, mostly from Haiti, are currently camped beneath a bridge near the small town of Del Rio, Texas. But some of the methods for removing the asylum seekers are raising concerns after new video emerged showing Border Patrol agents on horseback rounding up those migrants. Manuel Bajorquez joins us now from Del Rio with the latest. Good morning, Manny. Morning deportations are being sped up with one to three flights a day departing from the U.S. to Haiti and an additional 600 federal agents have been sent to this section of the border to help. But as you mentioned, an incident involving Border Patrol on horseback has the Department of Homeland Security investigating. It is tragic and it is heartbreaking. After seeing the camp where thousands of mostly Haitian migrants are waiting near the U.S. border, Secretary of Homeland Security Alejandro Mayorkas issued this stark warning. If you come to the United States illegally, you will be returned. And in one case, an agent on horseback can be seen grabbing the shirt of a migrant, appearing to whip him as he desperately tries to escape. But Mallorca's was also asked to respond to images like these. Border Patrol agents on horseback seen trying to keep migrants from crossing into the country. As one group tried to pass, an agent said this. Hey, you use your women? This is why your country... In a statement, a spokesperson for the Department of Homeland Security called the footage extremely troubling and said DHS is investigating the matter. Aquí a los Estados Unidos, how, how difficult was that journey? Some of the migrants who do qualify for asylum have been allowed in, like Ralder Valsan. And why did you leave? Por qué saliste de Haití? Porque mi país no tiene buen seguridad. There's no security in Haiti. Sí, por eso salimos y a buscar más vida. Looking for a better life, una mejor vida. Javier Martinez Jr. is a lifelong resident of Del Rio. He says citizens in his city fear possible shortages of medical care. We are a population of 35,000 or more. Now we're accommodating over 10, 13,000 more. Uh, our, our little HEBs, our little Walmarts are not, uh, you know, at capacity for that. So our, our shelves are being a little empty now. Martinez says the closure of the international bridge connecting Del Rio, Texas to Ciudad Acuña, Mexico is having an economic impact because workers from Mexico who are allowed to cross daily into the U.S. to work here are not able to do so, and some businesses are finding it difficult to operate. Laura? And Manny, what more can you tell us about what the Biden administration plans to do in order to raise the number of refugees who are allowed into the U.S.? Have they given us a number? They have. The Biden administration is raising the cap, the yearly cap uh, for refugees to 125,000. That is dramatically higher than it was at the end of the Trump administration, which was just 15,000. But the administration is stressing, as you've heard Secretary Mallorca said, uh, say, that this is for people who have been screened and vetted in other countries before they are allowed to come in and not necessarily for people who show up at the border like many of these Haitians have. Yes, as you mentioned in your report, Secretary of the Department of Homeland Security, Alejandro Mayorkas, he has said that without the proper legal reason to be in the U.S., that these migrants will be removed under Title 42. So can you explain to us how does someone become eligible for temporary protective status and why aren't migrants able to seek asylum in this case? So Title 42 is broadly being used, and it was in the Trump administration and now in the Biden administration, as a way to send people back due to the pandemic, due to COVID concerns. There do appear to be limited cases where people are allowed to claim asylum in the United States. We saw that at a faith-based organization that we visited in here in Del Rio, Texas, where they said these are some people who have been able to prove that there is a specific or credible fear uh, to their life if they are returned to their home country. But again, those are very limited cases and the administration is trying to make sure that people don't see that as a lure to come into the country illegally. What do you know right now about the United States's expulsion flights? Is the administration planning on ramping them up? 
Yeah, so far what we've heard from the government is one to three flights a day, and we have seen those flights arriving in Haiti. There are many uh, activists who are decrying that move, saying you're sending people back to a country that's just had a presidential assassination and another major earthquake. But those flights are happening, and so far, whether it's through fl flights or other means, the administration says that 6,000 Haitians uh, have been removed or have left the camp. It's important to note that we're hearing from Mexico that many of the Haitians are also returning to Mexico because they're afraid of being caught here in the United States and then deported. Well, Manny, thank you for your continued reporting from Del Rio, and we look forward to more of your reports uh, this evening and in the coming days. Thank, thank you. you.